you always have to make sure that there's nothing gross hiding in your straw. Good morning. So I woke up at around 4 a.m. because of this time change. And I was like, uh-uh, we are not getting up at 4 a.m. It's my alarm going off right now. Um, I woke up like ready for the day, which makes sense, but I had only gone to bed at around midnight. So it was like I... I only had slept for like four hours and I got so much done last night. I'm actually so proud of myself. Normally, when I come back from vacation, I let my luggage just sit there for like a week. I unpacked everything last night. I organized my bathroom, which I'll show you guys. I probably should have vlogged it, but I was in like a crazy cleaning mode. Is that my neighbor? The house right in back of me. No one has been there. The entire time i've lived here oh i also wanted to show you i didn't get much in greece i really didn't buy anything and i didn't go there with the like the goal to buy things but i did get two little things the first are these two little bracelets so my cousin owns a store i went to the island carpathos we've always been obsessed with it so i got this evil eye bracelet in with these like green little disc charms and this green pendant and it's so pretty adjustable and then i got this little evil eye bracelet which i think i'm going to give to my best friend it's her birthday on friday which i need to figure out what i'm getting her and then my aunt um was talking about this it's homemade bio beeswax it has other essential oils in it it's, it's good for stretch marks wrinkles dry skin sunspots cracked hands and it's just like a little bomb like that. It came with a little cute little bee keychain. And it also came with the best lip balm made out of her beeswax and her and shea butter. And then it came with one of these, you know, the little honey thingies. I want to try putting some on my face because I woke up really itchy. Oh, that feels so good. I woke up really itchy right here. So we'll see if it helps so i'm super excited i'm reinvigorated with decorating my house i just did my living room i'm getting my bedroom furniture tomorrow um so i'm redoing not redoing i'm like continuing on, on with my decorating i took a little bit of a break because it was a lot but now i'm feeling inspired again this room if i'm being honest my filming room closet it has kind of been left in the dust i've just been focusing on other areas of my house and if you look down one of the things that is missing is a rug so i am actually a ruggable ambassador i'm obsessed with my ruggables i have them all throughout my house because i am a mess if there's one guarantee in life it's that i'm going to drop something i'm going to track dirt through my house and i need a rug that is so easy to clean and you can just literally pop it off and throw it in the wash so I decided that for my closet, the place where I'm wearing my shoes inside, the place where I am constantly walking in and out with my shoes, I needed to have a rug that I could easily wash. So you've probably heard about Ruggable before. The whole idea is that you have a rug pad, then you can change out the rug um, if you want. You don't have to get a new rug pad every time. They have so many different designs on the website and you can also just pop it off and like I said, throw it in the wash. When I wash mine, I wash it um, with a mild detergent on Delicate and then I put it on low heat in the dryer and it becomes good as new. So I got one for my closet because that's what this closet is missing. I was so obsessed with my new rug in my entryway. The two places you need to have a ruggable are in your entryway and in your kitchen. I loved um, my boot rug so much that I got another one in the color warm sand. I'm so excited to see it. I love a jute rug and I love these jute rugs because they don't shed and they're soft on your feet. They don't feel like scratchy and itchy. So I got the six by nine size. If you buy a pad at the same time it comes rolled up inside the rug so i have the rug pad laid out what i love about this rug pad is it doesn't slip so your rug is not going to be slip sliding around when you walk on it it stays in place so then you have your rug and you literally just lay it on top so you're supposed to gently line up the corners and then get all of the air buckles out Ooh, I love this 
he was at, and this little seam will flatten out. I love that it kind of blends in with the floor, but warms it up a little bit. It's nice and soft on my feet. So I just want to thank Ruggable for sponsoring this portion of the video. I am obsessed with my new jute rug. Again, this is in the color warm sand. Um, and I do have a coupon code for you guys. If you want to get 10% off your rug, a bowl, you want to get 10% off your rug, a bowl, you can use the code Tony Sevgalis. So oh, I also got this whole box of Coco Kind stuff showed up at my door yesterday. The Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser, Coco Kind Turmeric Illuminating Solution. Ooh, you know what? I actually needed a new skincare routine. Silk SPF, Chia Bounce Mask, and... Oh, a ceramide. Okay, so in my bathroom, I kind of organized these drawers a little bit. Here is all of my skincare that I'm trying to work through. I finished a cream. I finished some stuff in there. This is like the stuff that I reach for every day. And then down here, I organized my fake tans, some more skincare bath stuff, some extra shampoos, deodorants, contacts, Q-tips, this is an old toothbrush, razor, some other random stuff, my travel seed, vitamins, uh, probiotics. And then in here I organized all of my hair stuff, so my hair tools um, and all of my hair products, because they were all thrown in here like a big mess. This one is still a big mess. It's my makeup, my everyday <laughs> makeup. I'm trying to I'm trying to make my way through it and use up some of these products. I've actually been really good at using up and finishing products. Let me show you guys why I would never buy a super expensive Ramoa luggage or Louis Vuitton luggage. Okay, so this is my Mono's luggage. It was still pricey. After traveling it with it three or four times, I'm just going to tell you that I like it, except I wish I got the one that didn't have this extra zip part on it just because it's pointless to me. It makes it extra big and bulky and I don't really use it because I typically also always have a bag on the top. So if you were only traveling with this, I would say, yeah, it would probably be useful. I actually shoved pajamas in here, so... Anyways, the thing about this is that when this gets too full, it's nearly impossible to put anything in here. The reason I would never get, okay, a super expensive luggage is because look at this. Look at how beat up this is. And mind you, I didn't check this. This was just from it being a carry-on. Imagine this being like a Louis Vuitton or a Ramoa bag where you spent thousands or however much it is. I found the little I found the little thing they give you to clean the luggage after. Let's see how good this works. It's like basically a magic eraser. Okay, it got a little bit better. I feel like some hot water and powdered Tide would totally clean this up. I just don't have the patience. Honestly, I just would recommend getting a black carry-on. I only got this color because it's the only one they had in stock. Okay, so I went to the office and then I was running around to get my best friend's gift. And I'll show you guys. By the time you see this, she'll already have it. I'll explain what everything is. So, one time she told me she needed shoe organizers. So, I was at HomeSense today and they had these really good quality shoe organizers. Or she can use them as like product organizers, whatever she wants. She always tells me that she wanted my Balenciaga. She always offers to buy them from me. So I'm just giving them to her. That's not her full gift. I just thought it would be nice to give them to her on her birthday. She wears hers every single day. So I'd rather her have them and wear them than them just sit literally in my closet. And then I, her, I got her a pair of insoles because they were too small on me and I had to rip the insoles out so I got her a pair of insoles. And then in this box here, I got her some of the new CNC stuff. There's a pair of solid gold earrings, a Tony's pearl necklace, and two anklets. Then I went to Sephora and got some things for her. I got her the Color Wow, the Say highlighter, and the Summer Fridays oil. And then I got her a bottle of tequila. There's a tequila shortage in Montreal, so this is not my tequila brand of choice, but this is what they had, and she's not picky. So that is what her little gift is. Hey guys, we have a lot going on here today. I've been up again since 
6 30. i think we're just going to continue this i don't know why i'm not going to fight it i don't want to wake up later i got so much done in the morning it is now 11:07. okay and i don't want to alarm anyone just brace yourself okay because i got my new bed i didn't get my mattress yet because i wasn't that organized i didn't i completely forgot that my queen size mattress wouldn't fit in a king size bed but i got my new bed from sundays and it is even better than i had imagined even better than i had could have ever hoped for look at that material boucle is my absolute favorite material i want everything in my house to be boucle look at that i'm having a little birthday party for nikki okay nikki if you guys don't know which you probably all do she's my best friend we work together she's my pride and joy so her birthday is july 20th and so i said let's have a birthday party the theme for her birthday party is a kid's birthday <laughs> because she's such a kid like the simplest things make her happy all she wanted for her birthday i asked her was hot dogs look what i am making for her a balloon thing i don't even know what i would call it i don't know where i'm gonna put it i think i'm gonna maybe drape it over the back door or i can drape it you know over the staircase i'm trying to figure out where i want to put it so these you can have made from a company but i actually just bought a kit on amazon uh oh, sorry i got it at home sense it was 29 bucks this balloon backdrop kit comes with a billion balloons i got this electric air inflator from walmart i think and this took me maybe like 20 minutes to do i have to run out the door because i have to go and pick up stuff for her birthday i got some like chips and stuff yesterday yesterday but i have to go get her hot dogs i have to go get the other stuff i also have to go pick up her gift and a few other things so today's a busy day everyone's coming around 5 p.m it's currently 11 i believe I'm just going to quickly show you guys what i'm wearing Super simple. I had black um, utility shorts on, but I wanted to be comfy, so I switched to black sweatshorts, a black little tank top thing, a beige sandy overshirt, some fisherman sandals, and I don't even want to hear it. Yes, I did say I would never wear fisherman sandals, but these are so cute, and they are so incredibly comfy okay so i got home a little while ago i've just been working on the balloon things we went and picked up um some fried chicken which is so good i'm just letting it cool before i put it in the fridge i'll put a picture in from when we first got it or like a video it's olivia's fried chicken so good but look you guys i have to say for 29 dollars and a lot of work <laughs> It's so cute. Definitely, I need to like make a few adjustments. It's by far no, not done at all. Um, and I'm learning along the way that unless I want to be out here all day, I need to blow up bigger balloons. It's just, it looks so cute. I wanted to originally put it there, but I couldn't figure out how to attach it. So it's going in my living room. Okay, so this is the finished product. I'm really happy with it. And then I have her little birthday crown and her little birthday sash, which actually lights up. And now I just need to go fix the rest of this place because it's not party ready and people are coming in an hour. Okay, so I just got ready really quickly. I didn't want to do my hair, so I threw it up in a little ponytail and honestly, my hair was annoying me, but I picked up this jalapeno lemonade and I need to try it because if you guys know me at all, you know that spicy margaritas are my favorite drink. Actually, they're mine and Nikki's favorite drink. So let's see if this is any good. Oh, this is what I'm wearing, by the way. A Goldie Shorts Shein Top. Um, and look how cute this bracelet is that I got in Greece. I need to take this off because people are going to think I'm engaged. But it's so pretty. I don't even want to take it off. I, I would wear it on my other hand, but... I only have a size four and it doesn't fit. Anyways, I'll leave that there for now. Let's try. My fingers are so sore Ooh, from doing that. Let's see if it's spicy at all. Not 
even a little bit. There's not even like a molecule of spice in there. My sister's bringing jalapenos, so we are definitely spicing this up. This is my backyard barbecue birthday. And how do you like your balloons? I am so shocked and touched by my balloon arch Aww. and my sash and my crown. crown and I can't wait for my big surprise. Mm -hmm. And one of her surprises is mac and cheese, although it's store bought because I'm not about to whip up oh, a good mac time. and cheese. I know it, it is so much better than homemade mac and cheese, um, but we spiced it up. We added some cheddar cheese and now we're going to add, ooh, it's steamy. Now we're gonna add some breadcrumbs on the top and some more cheese and bake it. This is a jalapeno that my sister grew in her very own garden. I had my um, cucumber today. You did? It was, very, it was like the best cucumber I've I'm ever very had. I'm very proud. So we're gonna spice up this um, jalapeno you should, lemonade. You should taste mix. it first. because I did. It's not spicy. It's not spicy? Does, no. Do you get the vibe of? No. no. Do you wanna try? Sure. Oh, it's really not spicy. Maybe it's really not spicy, eh? You had it with Kaluri? Yeah, and some cherry tomatoes. I just cracked it. I'm such a dummy. I don't think that's glass, that thing, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you muddling your bar pit? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I'm such a dummy. Don't rub your eyes. But do you think there's a glass in the jalapeno? No, no. It looks like a. It's Why don't like you use your muddler instead of a wooden spoon? Why don't you? I'm a it? dummy. Just you're so strong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got her a bottle of Don Julio. Why don't you get 1984? Oh, that's a 1982. What is it? 1892. 1942. 1942. Because they didn't have, and that's a $200 bottle of tequila. What about that brand you got for E10 ones? Is oh, Casamigos. Casamigos. They don't have it in Quebec. They don't have Casamigos in Quebec. No, try finding Casamigos. No, too. they're like they have, they sell it, but they just don't. Have they don't it have. Right they don't even have any of like the good tequilas that I know that I like. I know. Etan's so cute. I, he hasn't like barely drank any of his tequila, and he's like because it's a special bottle. Oh. I need to save it. Happy birthday, Maggie. Oh, Leo's here. Ooh, that's mm. strong. That's good. Is it strong? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, what playlist? We're heating up the chicken and the mac and cheese that Nikki burnt. I did not burn it. <laughs> I told you to broil it and you left it for 10 minutes. No. Good morning, everyone. It's the day after the party. We still have the balloons up. I, I posted on Instagram and a lot of you guys wanted a tutorial. It turned out way better than I thought. And I was looking on Amazon for, you know, how expensive it would be to do this. And it honestly, like, a, they sell whole kits for how to make balloon arches and balloon banner. I don't know. So I'm going to link everything down below. I'll briefly explain everything you need. It's super easy. You just need this, like, balloon tape which is super cheap on Amazon. You can get all your balloons on Amazon. Whatever colors you want, you know, you can do blue, nude, play around with it. I actually really like this pink theme, it's very fun. And then you just need some, this is clear, you could kind of see it, like twine, rope, I don't know, just to attach it. And then they, the one thing I would recommend though is getting the tool that ties the balloon, like helps you tie the balloon, because my fingers were raw so all you do is blow up your balloons at different sizes another thing i noticed is you can see up there i started with smaller balloons i thought that it would look better down here there's bigger balloons and bigger balloons is obviously less work i think you don't need to mess around with a ton of smaller balloons bigger balloons do the job takes less time you don't need to blow up as many so all you do is blow up your balloons at different sizes and then you attach them to the little tape like this and there's also little sticky things that you can go in and add balloons in after i don't know which ones i added in after but you add them in after 
and it's literally that easy you just attach them to the tape at all different angles and you kind of have to play with it oh I also did have to buy a balloon pump but that's like a one-time cost I I got it at Walmart I believe it was $30 so I would definitely recommend also investing in that and yes it did take like three hours to do but if you have help it wouldn't I just did it alone so it took a while but it's so pretty for a birthday or a celebration it just really like catches your eye it's so fun I got Nespresso pod I always get asked about which ones I get I'm just gonna show you in here because there's too much let's see I get the vanilla custard, the caramel cookie, Melozio is my favorite that has like no flavor. I want to try this one today, the iced forte. This is a tropical coconut flavor. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe what we'll, these are two iced coffee ones, but they were having a promotion that if you bought 15 things of coffee, you got like a free, two free things. It wasn't that exciting, but it was exciting enough for me to be like, I'm going to just buy all my coffee now. Normally, I buy 10, so I'll just have coffee for longer. You have a little pouch, and then this is what I really wanted. You got a free water bottle that was super cute. Isn't that cute? It has like a little Nespresso silicone sleeve and a little bamboo wood top. Another thing I got is, I don't know if you remember, but in a vlog I mentioned that I'm gonna like get a professional spray tan machine. Well, I actually already bought one. It's coming in the mail. Um, and this is the solution I got. It's from Norvell. It's the Venetian handheld spray tan solution. So you better believe once my spray tan machine comes and my tent, I'm gonna be showing you guys. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to do this. Normally, I just put it in the hyper chiller, so I don't really need it, but I'm excited to try it. I think you're supposed to just pour it over ice. I'm going to brew it in a coffee cup so my glass doesn't break. It's so hot outside today. It's almost like unbearably hot. I walked outside with Leo. I have to move away because my coffee machine sounds like a jet engine. I guess I got a little bit too excited about my coffee and never checked back in. But the Ice Forte coffee is so good. You just literally pour it right over ice and you have the perfect iced coffee. Look at my hair. But the coconut one, I really don't like. I don't like the flavor of coconut mixed with coffee. Just been outside tanning a little bit. Um, but for lunch, I'm having cucumbers, feta, a little bit of onions, kaluri with some capers. Ever since Greece, I've been obsessed, obsessed with this salad. And I'm obviously missing tomatoes. I just don't have any at the moment. I'm doing my sister's nails because she went to a salon and she said she didn't like it. Yeah. Let us know, guys, if you like this bracelet because I love it. I've been wearing it for literally weeks. Didn't take it off in Greece anywhere. You tested it out? I tested it out and very, very happy with it. But Tony's not a fan, but I love it. Yeah, I like it a lot. So are you doing a base coat now? I'm doing a builder gel. Look at that clip. We're launching our new clips. Um, this is a mini claw in Mother of Pearl. And Allie is wearing a mini claw in Watermelon. Watermelon. I'm doing one coat of nude BB cream. And then? A coat of um, cloud white coconut milk. So you're doing like that trend of one, it's basically equivalent to the one coat, funny bunny one coat bubble bath. Beautiful. I broke this one. It's okay. <laughs> Hi, Leo, baby. Hi, Leo. <gasps> oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Hi. You guys are a little bit low. Let me see if I can find something to prop you up on. Better? Okay, so I'm sitting here in my office working on... Um, our new collection because our new Lux collection is launching this Friday. I don't normally talk a lot about CNC on my YouTube channel just because I don't want to, you know, annoy you guys. <laughs> you know, you guys know I have a jewelry line. If you want me to talk about it more, I definitely can. But I wanted to talk a little bit about our new Lux collection that's coming out. It's dropping this Friday, but by the time you see this, you'll definitely have already 
it'll definitely have already been released but i wanted to talk about our lux collection a little bit because it is one of my babies i wanted to create a line of kind of like faux engagement rings that you can wear either when you're traveling if you're pregnant and your rings don't fit on the daily if you just want to switch things up if you're testing out different engagement rings to see which ones you like just to have fun doesn't even have to be an engagement ring you can literally just wear it as a regular ring this is actually one of our most requested <laughs> things to make in my dms i always get asked to make rings like this we did have a luxe collection a first luxe collection which was all silver so now this collection is all gold these rings i personally designed with a jeweler i asked you guys on instagram what your dream engagement ring um would look like i took the three most common ones and made them the reason that it took so long to get this collection out is because i was incredibly picky with the crystal the crystal is a cubic zirconia crystal it's a 5a crystal which is the high ow which is the highest quality cubic zirconia on the market um, and then the band is sterling silver and it has a multi-level plating our jeweler actually guarantees zero color fading for three to five years obviously depending on how much you wear it so these are rings that you can wear every single day what determines whether your jewelry is going to fade or change color quickly is how many microns of gold your jewelry is plated with ours is plated with 2.5 microns the standard plating is 0.5 if that with that being said though some people's skin ph makes it fade a lot quicker and then also like what you're doing if you're washing your hands a million times a day and all that stuff but i would say treat these as if you would like a regular gold ring another question we got asked a lot is will we be offering them in silver and will we be offering them in different carat sizes eventually i do want to offer them in silver that's the goal however gold was primarily what everyone asked for and for different carrot sizes again yes this is just our first collection i took what you guys said you guys wanted big stones and so i made them the size of a stone that's like really nice and big but not excessively big so the emerald and the oval are bo both 8 by 12 millimeters which is equivalent to like 4.5 carats radiant cut is 8 by 10 which is equivalent to like 3.6 3.8 carats so i just wanted to um come on here and talk about it i don't talk about our jewelry all that much but i thought why not i'm very proud of it so those like i said will already be up by the time you see this um and then a lot of questions about our watches our mother of pearl watches I'm right in front of a window, so everything's like very exposed. Our mother of pearl watches, um, those are going to probably launch at the either end of August near my birthday or beginning of September. The production is done. The samples, like just to approve everything, not the samples, but like production samples are being sent to me. They should either be delivered today or tomorrow. Once I approve those, all of the watches are being shipped to me and then we can launch them the colorway for the collection is leaning more towards fall you'll see why so that's why i want to launch them end of august early september and we also have a new style and new sizes so that's going to be a really exciting launch stay tuned for that but all updates are going to really primarily be on the cnc instagram if you want to check that out but i'm going to go edit the pictures and get all the things ready for the website and yeah that's what i'm going to be doing for the rest of my night <laughs> <laughs>